Welcome to the video on working with the Remote Support Platform Studio for Remote Support Platform version 2.4. We are going to show you how to develop a new task in the RSP Studio and then how to publish that task to the WebDAV server. We will then show you how to assign the task to a customer. But firstly, we need to navigate to the Remote Support Platform Studio by selecting SAP Business One, Remote Support Platform, Remote Support Platform Studio in your Start menu. This will launch the RSP Studio where you will be able to create a new task. To create a new task, from the Studio menu bar, choose Task, then New Task, and the New Task window appears. We are now able to select a new template for the task. We have three task categories that we can choose from. The Content Upload category enables you to generate content upload requests, including upload requests for databases, files, logs, and so on. The Generic Health Check category enables you to generate generic health check tasks using predefined parameters to indicate whether the system is healthy or not. The Specific Health Check category enables you to create a specific health check task. In this example, we are going to create a specific health check task. In the Specific Health Check task window, we are able to configure the task configuration with various options that appear in the left menu tree. We are first going to actually rename the task to SBO Users Specific Health Check. We're then going to define a description for the task. In this example, we would like to create a task that will provide a list of all of the SAP Business One users, including their details. In the document section, we've got the option to be able to describe in detail exactly what the task will do. For example, after running this task, you will get a list of Business One users and their details. Once we've actually described in detail what the task will do, from the left menu tree we can now choose Validity. And here we can define our target group by specifying the database type, the version of Business One, the Business One company version, and also the RSP version that's going to be supported for this task. By choosing Schedule, you also have the option to enable the schedule function. So by selecting the enable schedule checkbox and specifying the preferred start time and reoccurrence of this task, you are able to set up the required schedule for your task. In this example, we are not going to define a schedule. You can also define a set of parameters for the task. To add a new parameter, you simply right click and choose the parameter type that you wish to define and to specify the various attributes of the parameter. You then have the option to define the steps that need to be executed for the task. To add a new step, you simply right click and choose new step and then choose the step type you wish to define such as an SQL step which is what we're going to use in this example. In the step detail window you can configure the detailed settings of your step, such as the step name. You can also define the step description, and then you can embed your SQL script in the content section. In this example, we would like to get a list of details from the user table in Business One, the OUSR table. 
and to do this we must define a simple SQL script. So now in the content section, we're going to begin our script and the simple script we're going to create is select all from OUSR. And then we simply end our statement. After we've defined our SQL script, we then simply click OK. We can now see the step that we defined in the task window. The RSP Studio also predefines a workflow for each type of task. So you can edit the workflow as required. To add a statement in the left menu structure, you simply choose the main workflow you are going to edit. So in this example, if we right click on the main structure, you can then specify a statement type to be added. And here is a list of all of the following statements you can choose from. You can also select or define a style sheet in which you would like to present your task results in HTML format from XML format. In the style sheets area, you simply right click and choose new. In the new style sheet form, you can specify the name, the local path and the URI of the style sheet file. So now that we've created our task, we then save our task from the task menu by going to task and then selecting save task. This will then save our task in XML format. Now we've saved the task successfully, we can now publish the task to let your customers download and use the task. But to do this, we must first need to configure the connections to your RSP server database and your WebDAV server. From the menu bar, choose Tool, Configuration, and the Configuration window appears. In the WebDAV Connectivity tab, configure the connection to your WebDAV server, which in this case is hosted locally. You then need to input the appropriate username and password for access to your WebDAV server. Now in the Database Configuration tab, you need to configure the connection to your RSP server database. Again, you need to ensure that your server location and your username and password is input correctly in order for you to connect to the database successfully. By selecting OK, it will then confirm whether or not you have successfully connected to the WebDAV server or the RSP server database. And in this case, we have. Now that we have successfully configured the connections, we can publish the task to the WebDAV server by choosing Tool and then Publish Task. The RSP Studio then uploads this task to both your WebDAV server database and to the RSP server database. Once published, you will receive the following message indicating that the task was released successfully. After you have published the task, you need to assign the task to your customers. To assign a task to your customer, you first must add the customer. To add a customer and maintain customer data, choose Tool, then Manage Customers and the customer's window appears. You then select Add in the Add Customer window and here you can specify the customer name, system and installation details 
and then select Save. You now have added a customer to your task assignment list. The next step is to assign a task. And to do that, you need to choose Tool, Manage Task, and then Task View. And then the Tasks Management window appears, displaying all of your published tasks. Here you can select the task that we have just created and then click Assign Task. You can then select the customer or group of customers that you wish to assign the task to. In this case we only have one customer. Once you click on Assign you will receive a message if it was succeeded or not. So now we have created a new task and successfully assigned that task to a customer. Let's now move into the customer environment to see how they would receive and execute the assigned task. So now we are actually in the customer environment. But first we need to log into the RSP Agent Console with the required credentials. Once you have logged in, the RSP Agent Console will appear. So now we are in the RSP Console. We now want to navigate to the Tasks menu and select File, Retrieve Tasks. or alternatively, you can click S5 as a shortcut. This will launch the System Task Wizard. By clicking Next, the Remote Support Platform will retrieve any system tasks. This can take some time depending on the number of tasks to be retrieved. Once you have retrieved all of your tasks, you can actually scroll down and as you can see, the task that we created is now listed as an incoming task to be approved and executed accordingly.